Hi, welcome back. This is Max Starry, and um, this is a continuation of the Inktober series. Um, today, my idea is uh, it's a an angle of someone with their legs spread apart, and it's like a crotch shot, basically. So I'm going to try to draw that, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to be trying to talk a little bit clearer and louder because in my videos, my voice is always like crackly because when I talk quiet, it kind of goes like this and it, and then I have to turn the volume way up and then you can hear the fan in the background really loud. Um, hopefully I can do tutorials using the whiteboard again. I just need to get that fixed. For this drawing, uh... The guy's gonna be like in his shorts, so that it's like I want to put leg hairs. So, um, I guess let's just start off getting some proportions down. Um, uh, that is not at all what I want. Okay, it's a lot smaller than I was first doing it. Okay, there we go. And uh, if you have anything to say, uh, it doesn't have to be nice. Uh, it's just if you, it's something you want to see, something that we do wrong, something that um, just anything, you can uh, comment it. I read all the comments because I only get like, like maybe one comment on each video, so it's not hard to keep up with. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, increase that number. Very soon I'm going to be doing some collaborations with other artists and um, I'll film those too and uh, shout them out and stuff. Hopefully I can get them a couple followers. And if you ha haven't already been on my Instagram, um, at HempWeasel, uh, go check that out. It's been getting quite a few followers and likes. I think I just broke 80 likes and I only have about 12 posts, so it's pretty good. Um, his shorts are actually massive, so I'm going to try to fix that up with the pencil. Oh, why are his legs so weirdly long? Okay. So, I did those feet really well, but I'm going to have to redo them because his legs are too long. Okay, now it looks like I've got the proportions on the legs a little better. But I don't want to draw them yet. I think I'm going to save that for the end. Even though it's probably a better idea if I do them first. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do them first. Okay, so this leg... Um, I have to try to kind of decide what lines look the best. So when I stencil it and I find something that um, looks good, then when I go over it with my pen, I try to find exactly what made it look good in the pencil. So that foot looks a little weird, so I'm going to have to come back and fix that. thing that looks good for now, I'm definitely going to have to do some touching up on the feet and the legs, but 
for now. I think I got the shapes and the proportions right. Got kind of a weird Ken doll lump going on. And there we go. So when this arm, his hand is actually behind him. And I, I don't know if that makes sense with how he would be sitting, but um, I think it does. Okay, so I made this arm really skinny, so I'm going to have to adjust this arm a little bit. Here we go. And I'm going to lower his nipples a little. And make his fist always a little bit challenging. So I don't know if you noticed, but he only has four toes, so I'm only giving him four fingers, too. In cartooning, I guess it's like a rule where you're supposed to only ever do four toes and four fingers. But I, uh, I usually do five fingers just because I like how it looks better. I like to make the fingers really long and complicated. All right, there's his wing. So this goose isn't supposed to be dead, but I think he's starting to look a little bit dead. And this is his tail, and these are his legs. So a long time ago, I came up with this these little tufts for the legs, which I've never seen anyone else do. But I just thought it would look funny, and so I did it one time, and it did, so I do it a lot now. And I don't know if uh, I even mentioned this, but his head is cut off. I don't know if that looks kind of like an eye, but it's supposed to be a cut off head. And I want to do some drops kind of spurting out, but I'm just going to stint uh, pencil them on first just because I want to make them look good. See? Like that looks terrible. Luckily I didn't just do that with the pen. Okay, get a couple ankle knobs, put in some leg hair. Just basically add texture to the drawing. For some reason I always either do leg hair on the thigh or the calf, but in this case I just did his entire leg. And I'm thinking about doing blood dripping down off his cut off neck, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I might do a little line though. I'm actually going to give him some striped shorts here. I like to use black and white stripes a lot in my drawings. I think it gives it a really nice aesthetic. Alright, for some reason the video ended uh, right before I colored in these stripes and 
maybe right before I did the leg hairs also. So that's about it for the drawing. Thank you for watching. This has been Max Starry on Teagard Tutorials for the Inktober special. See ya.